Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, we're off. Still here. Nothing. Nothing I want there. Nothing I want there. So let's uh let's sort this by level. And let's see uh what's going on here. Alright, so we got a bunch of level fours, some level threes, and a whole lot of low level guys. So let's auto clip all targets. Sort by rarity. I think we need to take on the hag. Which is garbage, because pretty much all my level 4 guys have the Crimson Curse. Alright, do you have your stun? Yep. Alright, good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, let's give us our uh, trinkets. Ten accuracy and crit. We'll take twenty percent damage and accuracy to range skills. Take it. For you, we're going to be taking Delayed Cravings. And our Martyr Seal. For Mr. Tanky Tank, we want Swift Cloak because he's pretty slow. And isn't there a ring that just gives a fat amount of health? Negative stay. Yeah, here we go. Gambler's Jam. And with our heal, we don't want to take the one that reduces our stun chance. So we'll take the Tome of Holy Healing. Man, I'd actually like to take something that like increases our stun chance. Do I have a stun charm? They're down here, right? Alright, sweet. Alright, let's go back, fully upgrade these guys, uh, sort by activity please. Because if there's one thing we have in abundance, it's money. And then we want to go to the blacksmith. Alright, they're all fully kitted now. Let's take on a hag. I don't know when I'm finally going to be able to actually, like, get to the Baron, guys. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> the fact that we're, we haven't been able to, like, actually do that DLC mission because of how unstable I feel we've been. Like legitimately sucks um but I think we'll be doing it soon for sure I, I think I think <coughs> Ooh, uh, I think I'm definitely gonna be able to do it soon so we're going to try to avoid as many fights as possible. What are you at? You're at craving. Curse. Craving. You know what? We're just going to... Do that right now. We ain't going to touch that with a temple pole. No, we ain't, sir. Though, if we had a temple pole, we'd probably do it. I just don't remember which item I have fixes that curio. We'll definitely uh, open that empty crate, because empty crates are the bomb diggity. We're going to torch up here for this fight. Of course, the second I start recording is the first email I get in an hour and a half. I recorded my uh, Oblivion videos earlier. 
I took a small break. I played one round of Call of Duty and watched three episodes of One Piece. Uh, because honestly, I just really wanted to watch some One Piece. I was just in a mood. And uh, the chair... Well, I don't know if it was the chair, but something was seriously hurting my back. Uh, as you'll probably have heard in my Oblivion videos, or will hear. Oh, now you're craving, eh? We want to spread the damage here because if we had killed one of them without wiping them all, uh, they might have just spawned more, and that would be counterintuitive to our goals. So we're actually going to go for the kills this round. This one will probably survive, but we should be able to stun him. Yes, thank you for constantly just spawning extra stress. How are you faster than the dude with the swift cloak? I disagree. Good kills. Good kills. And then we got scouting. We got some critical scouting. Alright, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna make a beeline right for the boss. It has a lock on it. I thought we could bash the lock off. You know what, this is probably like the eighth time I've made that exact same mistake in this playthrough. We are not going to be getting many heirlooms out of this, that is for sure. We are getting, like, extremely minimal loot and minimal fights. However, the money we spent needed to be used anyways to upgrade these guys, so I'm not all that concerned. And the progression we're going to get for killing the boss is in itself worth a lot of money. Hit my life for the crimson fluid, eh? Oh, you fucking suck! Thank you. At least somebody knows what they're doing. Fucking kill it. Easy stun. Easy money. Damn it. That's plus 10%. Their stone's at 130% chance for stunnage. I guess that is only like a 35% chance to stun this big guy. Bleed. Stun. No. I love how much bonus damage we're dealing for it just to never land. Now, let's get a spot of new ooze. God damn it. Go for the crush. <coughs> Now that is a proper flanking! Mmm. This will not spawn another slime. Because it is not cytokinesis. Ah, oh, excellent. That is exactly what I had wanted to do. Well, not quite. I hadn't. Why are you all just triggering yourselves? <laughs> You maniacs. I'm trying to do everything I can. Oh my god, that is like our third one of that particular chest. We definitely overprepared in food and everything. I thought the dungeon would be much larger. The fact that we got the surprise round on this is actually really good. Because we'll be able to yaw. Good hit, stun it. Got a 90% on that stun. 
We weren't going to be able to kill her though, which sucks. Big stress hit. I mean, we could have had we crit. And if we had crit there, it would have killed her. More stress hits. Yep, yep, yep. Again, man, some of these guys are pretty fast. I hate that we keep losing out on the speed game. I'm really excited for tonight. I'm going to be trying to cook a new dish. Um, I don't know if people listening have this in their home growing up. I had something called bologna hash. Which is basically, you know, mashed potatoes and bologna, fried bologna. But, uh... I'm going to fry the bologna up separate, and I'm going to try and make a gravy. A bologna gravy with it. Uh, and then pour that over the potatoes. I think it could turn out real nice. Uh, we're just going to go for the smackdown. Good kill. That was actually, like, a really successfully handed, handled fight, in my opinion. And we've got it a scouting, like, every room we've gone to. And there is a secret door right before the boss. And we're literally right there. You know what? We will do this. Oh, well, you son of a bitch. Oh, okay. I was literally about to use the curio that would make that safe to do. <laughs> yep, eat. We got, we got food for days. Uh, we probably will still feast, um, just because I want, there's no fight though, just a trap, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll feast just because I want the stress relief. Because we've managed to keep our stress pretty low, which for the blood crazy guys is pretty good. We're going to do that. Now we're going to buff it. We're going to battle trance, sharpen spear. And I think we're going to spend the rest on tactics for the dodging crit. Because if we can dodge getting put in, it'll be really good. And we didn't get ambushed, which is good. We definitely could have been ambushed there. And it wouldn't have been the worst because we're so full on health and all the jazz. Let's go to the uh, secret room. We got keys for days, shovels we never used, a whole shit ton of money. Never mind us not getting money out of this investment. <laughs> that one room made the entire dungeon worth it in terms of cash. Alright, we are gonna pop our torches. And we are going to drink the blood. So everyone should be blood buffed. Ah, that, that really should have crit. I don't think we can stun her. It's like a 5% chance or 10%. Probably should have just went for the damage. Dodge it. He's in the pot. <coughs> Alright, our goal is to deal as much damage before he pops out. Because the pot... Uh, I think just has too much health. Yeah, 21. He, he'll be in there for 10 activations. So we can actually just sort of leave him in there. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... So four more and he's going to pop out. <laughs> I wish she wasn't like... She's not stun immune, but like a 10% chance to stun just makes the attack. Oh shit, she can heal? Fuck. Alright, two more activations. Oh my god, the crit though. Sacreville. See, that's what I didn't want to see have happen.
He's gonna pop out right now. Yep, Silk's at death's door. Miss? Alright, nope, that's not the worst that could happen as long as she doesn't kill Silk. Alright, we have it. Good game. Oh. Tracking shot for the kill. <laughs> Easy money, easy money. We got a blueprint and a double-edged pendant. Uh, we will make room for the blueprint. 50 gold each, 5 gold each. This is actually worth less than those torches. Let's get out of here. <coughs> we remembered our blood this time and the fight went much better. What did we get? Uh, Pagan Talisman. Uh, plus 25 damage versus the fanatic. It's not bad if we ever have to fight that asshole again. Two level five though, that's not that great. Because it means I won't have access to them versus the Baron. Whereas Silk and Rayleigh, I, I still, still will. Excuse me. And our Hound Masters did rank up. So we do have a level five hound master now. All right, our next video we're probably gonna do a low level one, and then I think the video after that we're gonna have to try the Baron, I guess. All right, seal out everybody. That was a good video. No salt. <laughs>